Have you ever wanted to make a cake topper but struggled to figure out how to do it? Do you have a design in Canva that you would love to use but don't know how to move it into Cricut? Do you find Cricut's design interface to be a little difficult to use? Or maybe they don't have the font that you want to use available and you don't want to add an extra subscription to your list? Today, I'm going to show you how to create an easy birthday cake topper using Canva and Cricut. As a bonus, I will show you how this can be easily transported over into Lightburn or other laser software to create a sturdier, lasting design out of acrylic. So grab your maker tools and let's get started. We're going to start over in Canva and create a simple design that can be used on our cake topper. Canva has hundreds of fonts available and even provides you with the option of importing one if you happen to have a particular favorite that you want to use. I'm going to pick this sort of elegant retro font called Stars in Love. I insert the text and type out Happy Birthday. This looks good, but in order for the cake topper to work, I need the letters to connect so that they don't fall apart. To do that, I need to break these words up. I'll start by breaking up Happy Birthday into two separate files, one for Happy and one for Birthday. That way I'll be able to move them closer together so that the letters are overlapping. It looks like I still need to move things around more, so I'm going to divide them up again by putting the first letter of each word on its own. That way I can move them around individually and resize things as I need to. That looks good. Now it's time to export. There are two ways to do this. Cricut does offer the ability to understand a PNG file, and if you keep the color simple, such as the text being only in black and the background being white, you should be able to easily remove the background in Cricut. But a better method would be to export it using the scalable vector graphics format known as SVG. This format is easily readable by both Cricut and laser cutting software. Unfortunately, it is only available in the premium subscription, so you do need to take that into consideration. You can, if necessary, export it out as a PNG or even a JPEG file and convert it to SVG using one of the many online converters that are available. If you keep the colors simple with only two, such as black and white, most converters will do a good job and you'll be able to import them into your Cricut or laser cutting software without any issue. Now I'm going to bring this over into Cricut. I'll click Upload and find my new artwork and import it. You'll see this comes in with the letters broken up, but that's no problem. All I need to do is select all of the letters and then come down here to Combine and select Weld. And everything is one big file now. Just what we need. I'm going to scale the design to 8 inches, since the cake I'm using is going to be 9 inches big. A general good rule of thumb is to make the cake topper about an inch to an inch and a half smaller than the size of the cake if you want a really big impression. But you can use any size that you want. Once this is done, I simply go to cut and load my paper. Be sure to remove it carefully as the topper may be on the delicate side. Try and use thicker paper if you can. But this is a birthday decoration, and if you're making it out of paper, it's most likely only going to be used one time, so don't worry if you're using a thinner paper. A more sustainable option would be to even use old paper and recycle it for this design. You could have your kids decorate it for an extra special touch as well. Now that that's done, I just need to add a stick so that I can prop it up on the cake. This is just a simple cake pop stick that I had laying around in my kitchen. You can use any glue you want, but I actually had some super glue available, and personally, nothing sticks better than super glue. Now that we've waited for it to dry, you can see the result. A simple, beautiful cake topper that was easy to make. But what if you wanted something a little sturdier? Something perhaps that might go in a flower pot or perhaps last a little longer than just one birthday. This is where making the design out of sturdier material comes in handy. For instance, using acrylic. That same design that we exported in Canva can be brought over into most laser software. In this case, my aunt wanted some designs for flower pots for my grandfather's 85th birthday. I exported the designs out of Canva in the SVG format, like I showed you earlier, and then imported them into my laser software. And using the weld feature, just like in Cricut, I combined all of the letters. The big thing now is that I need to create a small stick at the bottom so that it can be easily inserted into the flower pot. And this is just a matter of drawing a rectangle and adding a slight curve to the bottom points to create a nice round edge. Once that's done, I'll adjust the length of the stick and attach it to my text using the same weld function. Before I do that, I make sure that the entire length of the text and the stick together is the height I need it to be, which in this case is around 11.25 inches. 
Now I'm just going to arrange the designs on my cutting board so that I maximize the use of my material. Light Burn has an array feature that makes this much easier. Just make sure that if you're rotating your files that it's flipped correctly, otherwise you might end up with a backward design. This only matters if your material has only one good side, which in my case it does, but many forms of acrylic are the same on both sides and wouldn't matter. Once that's done, I'll simply send them to my laser cutter and they'll be cut in no time. As you can see, these turned out beautiful and will make great decorations for his 85th surprise party. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you can take a moment to hit the like button to help the algorithm find me, and if you want, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when I make content. See you guys next week. Bye!